<sighs> I'm so hungry and thirsty. Wish I was at home in the warmth. I need a rest. Maybe I'll rest here. Thank you very much. I'm finally home. I can take off the gloves and the hat. And this big coat. Oh, I can breathe now. And I can have some tea. You know, that little scenario I was in outside reminded me of a story in the Bible. A story in Kings. The story begins with a man named Elijah. Now Elijah was a prophet, a good prophet, a prophet of the Lord. Now Elijah was wandering around in the wilderness. He had no food or water to sustain him, but the Lord was going to provide. 1 Kings chapter 17 verses 2 to 6. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah, leave here. Turn eastward and hide in the Kerith Ravine, east of the Jordan. You will drink from the brook, and I have directed the ravens to supply you with food there. So he did what the Lord had told him. He went to the Kerith Ravine, east of the Jordan, and stayed there. The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the brook. Wow, isn't that amazing? God provided for Elijah. While he was wandering in the wilderness, he had no food, water, nothing to sustain him. How did he manage to survive? Well, as Christians, we don't just need food and water to survive, to sustain us. We also need other things to feed our hunger. Not our literal hunger, but our spiritual hunger. Things like the Bible. The Bible can feed our spiritual hunger. That doesn't mean we eat it, no. That means we read it. Reading the Word of God. Now you may have heard people or your parents say, feeding on the Word of God. And you may wonder what that means. That means reading the Word. Reading it when you feel down, when you feel a bit lost, or when you have questions. The Word of God can answer those questions and help us when we're down or lost. Just like this verse talks about God sustaining Elijah and giving him food and water, God can do the same for us. When we need him the most, God is always there with us. Now, there's another thing that can sustain us spiritually, and that's prayer. Now, unlike the Bible, prayer isn't something that you carry around. It's something that you do. It's a conversation with God. Now, we're only able to have that conversation with God because of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, which is the third thing that we need. That the Holy Spirit gives us that connection with God. Because of Jesus, the Holy Spirit was able to come and live within us. So when we pray, we're praying through the Spirit to God. And that's how we're able to have that close connection with God. He isn't a God that's far away. He's always with us, whenever and wherever we need him. Now, I understand that some of you may be struggling in this moment in time of lockdown, but remember, God provides. Provides for you and provides for me, especially when we need him. 